let's get started okay. so okay so i was going through your resume and you mentioned something in the top mat as well so you are looking something need to improve your skills so can you please tell me what exactly you are looking right now uh like uh, uh, in uh, currently i am looking for angular developer jobs so here uh, any uh, drawbacks uh, uh, i want to learn something uh, some more subject related to angular how much i learn uh, i want to test myself because of that i join okay so and what about javascript so are you good with javascript as well yes okay javascript uh currently we are using es6 version it is uh, if we want to write any dynamic web pages we hmm. will uh, proceed with the javascript okay okay so we'll start with uh, we'll try to do with angular first then we'll move to javascript at the end is it fine okay yes okay so what version you are working with angular now Tenth version. Tenth. Yes. Okay. And what is the latest version? I think sixteenth version is uh, latest. Okay. And uh, what are the things are in play introduced in the sixteenth? Ah, uh, sixteen in sixteenth version. I think ah uh, it will uh, without uh, rerun ah uh, that compilation. It will automatically run that thing ah. Uh, they introduced in es so browser don't need to reload ah uh, not required are you sure yes i am sure i think actually i am not checking it but uh, i listen somewhere okay uh, read about uh, latest version of angular so oh. yeah and in the 15 they have introduced standalone components have you heard about it Uh, not much okay so read about that as well okay. okay so okay so one thing when you create a component okay suppose you write ng generate component and uh, component is a info component okay so nice. once you create a component that app is getting added correct app info app da hyphen info so from where that app getting added do you know it's in selector uh, it will add uh, in yep. component no, right. yep that is correct in the selector it will add app hyphen info correct in the selector correct yes yep so now i am saying in the selector as well from where it appends that app in your component that i am asking even if you are not giving app you are giving only info correct but still it is adding somewhere app hyphen so do you know how it is adding uh, in by in module.ts file it will automatically take no you you did not get my question the component name yeah, ha uh, that i am asking so how that uh, selector name getting change app hyphen info that i'm asking uh I'm okay sure. <laughs> yeah yeah it is part of the angular.json wait one more question so when you do ng build and ng serve what is the difference between both okay ng serve is a runtime compilation and the ng build when we want to send our code to production so at that time uh, we will uh, do this ng build it will create okay. one dist folder this dist folder we can send okay and uh, how the ng build works do you know means when you type uh, ng will... build so mm -hmm. how it autom how it will know that so i need to bundle now i i need to run time now so do you know how it works means uh, how it does in angular the json file we have uh, this and uh, whatever running commands everything is available based on this uh, it will do the uh, that process okay and if you want to change that dist directory to something project name or something so how can i do that uh, 
we can directly by manual way we can do but i did not try that thing no there is a option output directory in angular.json if you update that okay. this to your whatever project name it will create that folder while doing ng build uh okay, okay. check your angular.json file once what are the things over there and all so uh, for your angular application what uh, framework you are using for css scss yeah. yeah that is correct but are you using bootstrap angular material that i'm asking ha huh, bootstrap only but uh, in build uh, functionalities in my company related uh, uh, things we are using here if we want to apply any responsive way we will approach bootstrap okay okay so now you have one application you want to implement the bootstrap functionality over here correct so you are doing npm install bootstrap okay so what are the steps you need to follow to use the css of bootstrap do you need to give the reference somewhere in the code to refer the yeah, yeah we can pass cdn links in index.html file uh, by using these links we can yes do we really uh, use, if we, no 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 do we really use the cdn urls now in our code yeah i i, I did uh, that one only uh, the three links like uh, we have uh, cdn links three links is available like jquery popper js and uh, uh, javascript related these links provided by cdn these links we can uh, we can place then, in index.html okay. file okay so then what is the use of npm install bootstrap Uh, without these lines we can uh, we can do like installation two ways we can do either uh, to get this cdn links or else we can install directly yeah so now i'm asking about directly if i do npm install and bootstrap okay without cdn if i do that so now i want to use the bootstrap styling in my code so what i need to do that i'm asking in node that uh, if we did uh, uh, that npm install it will automatically generate uh, that node uh, node folders it will uh, generate that bootstrap and we can directly apply whatever classes read about it the way you are writing in the cdn it is referring the your classes and all but in your code you need to import somewhere that then only you are able to access okay probably yeah, you need to check it. JSON file i think we import uh, yeah that is what i'm asking that is what i'm asking okay there is a already is src styles.scss over there you need to add your bootstrap styling as well yes. correct okay so have you heard about lazy loading and preloading uh, yes in so, uh, generally Wait, wait, wait. I'm not asking about lazy loading. I'm asking preloading. Preloading. Preloading uh, means normal routing uh, no. we can consider. That is that is eager loading. Okay. Preloading is the reason... kind of no no no. It is kind of the concept of both. It is the con oh. combination of lazy loading and the preloading. Uh, not sure. Yeah. No. Note down the questions. Whatever I'm asking you, so it will help you to uh, okay. later. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So between engine init and constructor. Okay. Uh, in uh, this year, engine init is a lifecycle hook, and constructor is a type of class. Whenever we load any uh, Angular related project, first it will load constructor. After that, these lifecycle hooks will be generated. Ng on in, coming to ng on in it, it will uh, uh, use it to like initialization and retrieving the data from database. These purposes, we will use this ng on in it. And constructor is a type of class. Like uh, if we uh, assign any uh, like services, if uh, Dependency injection, if we assign any uh, value to the particular variable uh, by using this constructor, we can do, we can handle that library related things. 
okay so so coach you have one route and you are passing some id to your route now you want to get that id from the route so how can i do that a base run uh, like route navigate and um, router link a router dot parameters okay we are passing ah, yes. some parameter correct so with it we can access okay uh okay so what are the types of forms we have in angular we have two types of forms uh, mm -hmm. like reactive forms and template driven forms okay so what is the best one which one is the referred to uh, you uh, i think uh, reactive forms is the best one to write large applications uh, because all the uh, inbuilt uh, code will be we can uh, write all the logic in TS file by using these reactive forms. Apart from uh, if we apply any smaller uh, kind of code, we will uh, approach these template driven forms. Okay. So what is form control in the reactive form? Okay, form control, it will uh, grab the uh, like element related data it will grab. Uh, like if we write inside input uh, input type this form control that input mm. related uh, data it will okay and what is form group form group if we have multiple uh, elements it will grab all the elements data it will consider as container uh, type okay so form group will be